Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a different video today. Today I'm going to be recommending you a crystal. If you choose a group, I will tell you which crystal and why, for what you need it for. So if you would like to choose a group now, we have group one, group two, group three, and group four. So starting off with group number one. Hi group number one, let's get started on your pick a card. So let's see what crystal you need for the upcoming weeks okay so this can be up to a couple of months it could be a couple of weeks it's just basically what crystal do you need right now for your healing and for your spiritual journey okay so the crystals you need are amethyst intuition third eye chakra and larimar water or ocean throat chakra okay so i hope you can see those two so essentially we've got you working with your third eye and your communication skills so this could essentially mean that you need to start speaking about how you really feel or this could mean that you're starting to channel more and more and more messages. You might need to have these crystals to actually increase your intuition, to increase your communication and also if you're in a spiritual connection with somebody they're telling me that this will help you to connect more holy and more holy, not holy as in Jesus, <laughs> more holy and wholeheartedly with your with your uh, connection okay whether you're in a separation or not this is going to be really good for kundalini energy as well to let that flow and essentially with the amethyst crystal this is an overall really good crystal anyway it, it works with your third eye and your crown chakra um yeah so it's a really good overall crystal to use with the Larimar crystal, especially because it is blue, it's definitely going to be good for your throat chakra. So if you need to work on speaking with your heart, speaking with your soul, speaking authentically, and also if you want to become more and more intuitive, this these two crystals are going to be really good as a combination or either or. I always recommend for you guys, for my, myself included, to wear the crystal because that will help it flow easier. It's also you forget that the crystal's there, which is kind of nice because it means that it can be doing its work on its own. Instead of having a crystal in your pocket, just in case, because you might lose it, obviously put the crystal in your pocket if you don't have anything to wear it with. You can actually get a particular pendant or you can get one of these little spiralised metal things that you can put the crystal in and you can actually wear it. Or I have, I actually don't have my bracelet on today, which is very strange, but I actually have a hematite bracelet, which I actually wear all the time to help me stay grounded. That is also a really good way of doing it. You can actually have you can actually wear a bracelet instead of a necklace so essentially you can have it any other ways you can even wear earrings or rings that that way okay um also what i'm seeing is with this uh card we actually have a woman behind and she's uh praying or she's meditating so essentially as i say i definitely feel like there's a, there is a spiritual connection with you and somebody else but if not that obviously doesn't have to resonate with everyone but essentially that's kind of what i'm feeling because i'm getting the sense of a spiritual connection and communication so maybe you want to we want someone to communicate with you this can help this this to just flow and to help you feel more comfortable within your communication okay so why do you need this that is some of the reasons we also have for the moonology deck we have a new start is coming and believe in yourself. So this is probably a really kind of intense time for you at the moment. You're obviously, I'm definitely feeling like a big oomph, like a big shift is coming. So this is gonna be really, really, really good. These two crystals, Lar Larimar and Amethyst. I love the fact that we've got purple and purple, which essentially means that this is just clarification. A new start is coming and these two crystals will just be your support. And just believe in yourself. You've got the ability to go forward within your life. And I know it might be a little bit hard. I'm, I'm sensing the heart chakra as well is going to be quite jarred, but it's going to be okay. It's just a new shift that's coming and it's just essentially going to help you move forward, okay? So that's your crystal recommendation. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I also do private readings and I also do crystal recommendations down below in the description. So if you would like one of those, then let me know. I'm thinking of doing a crystal recommendation just separately from all my other personal readings, so I'm thinking of doing that if you guys want that. Um, if not, then I do have a crystal recommendation in one of my general readings, so you can have that as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye! Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I apologise if I look really sweaty. Uh, I'm in a conservatory and I'm melting. <laughs> it's really hot today in England. Okay, so let's see what crystals uh, Spirit Guides recommend for you. So we have... Okay, this is a really complicated name. Carusite. We have Carusite. This is good for travel, your root and your crown chakras, okay? We also have Chiostolite, I'm guessing. 
past loved ones for your root chakra. So we both have, we've got the root and the crown chakras here. So this is obviously something you're gonna need to work on, feeling grounded. I'm seeing, sensing this is actually to do with money as well. Um, money's to do with travel too. So if you're actually wanting to travel and you're wanting to um, get money for traveling, these two crystals are gonna be really good. And also they're good for while you're traveling to help you stay grounded. Um, because obviously if you're going into a new sur surrounding and a new environment, you want to stay grounded and you want to stay in your body and you don't want to get too caught up in everything else, okay? So these are the two crystals. I'm going to put the na names up on the screen so you guys can understand what I was saying because sometimes I'm really, really not very good at pronouncing these names, okay? So another reason why you chose these crystals could be for you to reclaim your power and it's time to take action, okay? So both of these are very, very grounded cards, okay? We've got a definite earthy vibe going on here, so you could actually be an earth sign or connecting with an earth sign. This is definitely a oomph time. It's like we need to go forward, we need to go forward. This is movement. I'm feeling physical movement, so you could actually be starting a new exercise regime. You could be just working on your physical body. Um, and also reclaiming your power in a sexual sense as well. You could be just kind of figuring out what you like on an intimate level. You could be just figuring out how to um, relate to other people on a physical level. Could even be just hugs. Could be just being around somebody and communicating how you really feel. So I definitely feel like we need to, you need to really reclaim your power and kind of feel how do I feel in this moment. And push away any negative energy because that's going to be really, really important for this journey that you're on, okay? So you could be connected with an Aries, you could also be an Aries. I feel like this is actually very similar to this Reclaim Your Power. It's like a, a cat kind of like pouncing energy. So I feel like you really want to go forward, you want to travel, you want to kind of get out there more in a sense of kind of doing something new possibly. I definitely feel like these two crystals are going to be really, really good for you. I'm definitely, I'm getting uh, the word, I'm getting Hematite and I'm also getting Black Onyx. So possibly those two crystals as well. I wear Hematite every single day and it helps me so much. I am an overthinker. So it really, really helps me to kind of be in the moment, especially when I'm talking to somebody in a social setting and I get distracted by everything else, by the noises and everything. So that's gonna be really good for you, especially if you're meeting new people, you wanna stay grounded in your body. So that's what I'm seeing. So if this resonates with you, then let me know down below, comment down below. Feel free to subscribe down below and I also do personal reading so if you'd like a private reading with me all the information is down below you can connect with me on instagram or email also if this doesn't resonate let's fly and you can also pick another group so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys hello group number three thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see what the crystal crystal recommendations are for you okay so we have pre okay i really can't pronounce these names i'm going to put them on the screen as well so you know what i'm talking about prehenite 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 Release and declutter your heart chakra, okay? We've got love, rose quartz, love me a good rose quartz, and we also have calcite, calmness, all chakras, okay? So I'm definitely getting a feeling, oh, this feels really intense around my heart chakra, I'm kind of underneath as well, so a little bit with a solar plexus, so I definitely feel like you are feeling very delicate to do with your heart. Things have been jarring you, okay? You've been jarred, essentially. I'm also getting the element of someone opening a jar, and just leaving the top open and just leaving it to kind of rot and kind of get really skanky not and not like putting it back on it's almost like you're not you've not been taken care of or someone's just kind of left you out in the cold they're telling me um so it's almost like you haven't been taken care of some a part of you or that pigeon just really stared me in the face <laughs> another pigeon it just really stared me in the face that's so funny <laughs> maybe it's a sign um <laughs> so basically sorry <laughs> i'm getting really distracted so I definitely feel like someone is going to come forward for you as well to kind of help you learn what you need to learn to do with your heart chakra. I feel like someone has really jarred you with your heart chakra though. So those three crystals are going to be really good for you. Um, if you feel that this is going to be too intense for you when you wear them, if you feel that your heart is like beating too fast or it feels like heartburn, anything like that, just take it off until you're ready to actually use it. Because from personal experience, sometimes you're not ready to actually take on that energy. Because sometimes you just need to heal a little bit more before you actually take on these crystals, okay? So hopefully that resonated with you. Let's see what else of why you possibly would have picked these crystals or why you need them. So we have claim your independence and adjustments are required, okay? So I definitely feel like you could have gone through a massive breakup. You could have gone through a, a split. I'm seeing a split of two people. And I feel like you have been left out in the cold and you're almost struggling. You're almost 
surviving i'm getting the word surviving so basically i'm sending you lots of loves to start off with and i feel like you need to claim your independence in a sense there may be a bit of codependency going on or you could just be working on your codependency i'm sorry if you can hear a pigeon outside okay because now he's cooing and he's making loads of noise okay so i definitely feel like you actually could be calling out for a new partner as well i feel like you're definitely going through some heart energy going on and this is going to be really good for you i definitely feel like if rose quartz and this green crystal is going to be too much for you definitely work with calcite because it's very gentle and it works with all the chakras okay it just helps you to align wholly and fully wholly wholeheartedly okay so definitely with claiming your independence it's a time to be on your own it's even if you want to be with other people i feel like there's people you really really love but also make sure you're really looking after yourself and you are protecting yourself okay with adjustments are required i feel like you just need to adjust how you really feel in the moment keep adjusting um like to, to adjust yourself to suit the moment so if you feel like people are being too intense with you you feel like maybe they're too, too many arguments you feel like you're overexposed possibly get yourself some hematite as well along with these crystals because they're going to, it's going to be good for grounding to ground you and also just take care of yourself watch a silly movie watch your favorite tv show meditate go for a run dance in your bedroom listen to some music stuff like that just really take care of yourself even if it's not just with these crystals okay and also just to let you know that being independent doesn't mean you're going to be alone okay they just wanted to, do, to tell you that um they just want you to work on yourself as a whole first before you get with somebody before you are with somebody else or even if you are with somebody else this is just a time where you need to um, just keep working on who you are and how you want to be seen in the world okay i'm seeing that you want to be more seen um or you don't actually want to be seen you want to be kind of you want to hide away but actually this is a time now to be seen um if you do feel like as i say this, this energy is very delicate it's very sensitive so i feel like if you do feel very sensitive just take yourself away from situations if you don't actually want to be seen but i feel like after you've worked on this heart chakra you will want to be seen more and you will want to have more attention on you just for now i feel like there might be a bit of sensitivity around there okay so thank you for watching i really hope this helped you i'm sending you lots of love if you'd like a private reading with me all the information is down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up if you like this video and comment down below if this resonated if it doesn't resonate let it fly or you can pick another group thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hi group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see what crystals you need okay so i actually chose four crystals for you for some reason i feel like either a lot of you are going to pick group number four or you just need a variety okay so or you can choose all of these essentially so we have angelite angels throat and crown chakra fuchsite healing heart chakra i'm really sorry if i butcher these names labradorite third eye selenite crown chakra so we have two crown chakras we have throat heart and third eye so either they're all connected i think they're all connected in a sense anyway but it's also i'm doing this as well i feel like you're channeling you're going to be channeling a lot i feel like you want to get energized as well so i feel like once all these chakras are aligned bit easier i feel like you have more energy okay so you're going to be healing your heart throat and crown chakras all at the same time and i feel like you need to choose either one of these crystals i don't i don't really recommend using all of them at once unless you're using all of the crystal like all seven of them seven it's seven or eight one two three four five six seven yeah seven <laughs> seven okay so i definitely feel like you need to make sure that you are looking after yourself when you use these crystals because some of them can be a bit intense I feel like if anything use selenite because it's very gentle um but i feel like if you're working more on your heart chakra working more on bringing in love fuchsia is going to be really really good along with angelite together because angelite is very very soft it's also helps you connect with your guides okay with your physical abilities i definitely recommend labradorite and selenite together um, and if you want to connect more with your guides, if you want to get more information from your guides, this is going to be a really good time, okay? Meditation is going to be really good for selenite and labradorite as well, if you want to meditate with those. And also with fuchsia, uh, there's a hand as well. So that, oh, that's probably why I was doing that. Because there's a hand in the back of this card. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a hand here. So I definitely feel like you're possibly connecting with your guides, connecting with another person spiritually on a, on a, three, on a 5D level. You could even be meditating with someone 
or you could be it's some sort of like soul connection you could even be doing kind kundalini yoga or kundalini energy with somebody working with energy with somebody um i also see you making a some <laughs> i also see you making some sort of connection with somebody in a sense of maybe shaking hands i see so that could be really good if you're meeting new people so another reason why you could have chose these crystals or why you need these crystals is have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon spirit has a plan and the abundant spirit will provide this is what i'm saying labradorite is so good for manifesting okay and all of these all of these cards are basically saying you're manifesting something really really good so i definitely feel like this is going to be a really good thing if you really want to manifest this labradorite actually along with um, Angel uh, Fuchsite is going to be really good for manifesting love, especially basically all of them. All of these are really good for manifesting love and abundance and energy. I feel like energy needs to move through you. I feel like a lot of emotional energy is kind of being built up, and I feel like this almost going to burst. So I definitely feel like Labradorite is going to help you channel this as well because Labradorite has a really lovely kind of fizzy energy it's very kind of energetic and it's really good to help you manifest it's helped things to kick into high gear i'm like kick it in kick it into high gear so this is gonna be really good and also have faith that things will turn out okay have faith that what you are manifesting is coming true it just you need just a little bit of a kick with these crystals and also just you need it's just in divine timing guys sometimes it just is in divine timing okay but the universe is here to to say that they, they are on your side, they are helping you. Obviously, the universe is always on your side, but I felt the need to just say that because I feel like some of you are feeling a little bit down. Like, where is my man? Where is my woman? Where is my new job? Things like that. Where is the money that I need? These crystals will help. I definitely feel like choose either one of these or two of them together. Okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you if this resonated with you also if you'd like to please subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much and also i do private readings if you like to look down below look in the description and see what you would like to get from me that would be amazing i would love to work with you and if it didn't resonate just let it fly or pick another group so thank you so much for watching and i really hope this helps and i'll speak to you very soon bye